One of the exciting things here at RS Owens is the traditional craftsmanship, the Americana way of doing things, the old school way, and continuing to use some of the equipment that was designed and utilized from the 30s and 40s, the golden years where everything was made entirely by hand. Our mold library dates back to 1938, and we're proud today to be able to use the same molds and the same equipment that we've used in some cases for up to 75 years. We at RS Owens have been fortunate enough to be able to create the Emmys for the last 38 years. We've made them all entirely by hand, starting with virgin metal. Our virgin metal is heated in our furnaces at approximately 700 degrees. From there, our operator will then ladle the metal into one of our steel molds. Once the casting cures for approximately 20 to 30 seconds, it's solid enough to be able to be removed from the mold. After the casting process, the first step is you have to remove the gate which allows the molten metal to enter the mold. Once the gate is cut off, there's a lot of excess flash that needs to be removed in order to bring the details of the statue to life. That's done in the deburring department where they grind and deburr each of these entirely by hand. After the first steps of polishing have been completed, it's time to add the famous Emmy Neutron Ball. Each neutron ball is soldered together by hand consisting of six pieces. It goes from that stage to the electroplating department. Electroplating was originally intended strictly for anti-corrosive properties, but it was then learned in the late 20s and 30s it could be used for decorative purposes as well. The series of alloys that are applied to Emmy start with zinc, and then it goes to copper, nickel, pure silver, and finally, a nice layer of 24 karat gold. An Emmy becomes personal once it belongs to somebody. That happens in the engraving department. The information is sent to us from the Television Academy. We produce plates for every single nominee because nobody knows who's going to be the final winner of a Television Academy Award. After all of the components to produce an Emmy have been quality control checked and approved, they get sent individually to the assembly department, at which point they are all assembled and put together. After she's assembled and quality control checked for the final time, she is then placed in a box designed specifically for her and then wrapped and shipped to the event. It's really exciting to work at an organization that still has the opportunity to produce things made by hand by Americans the old-fashioned way, and that's with grit, hard work, and sense of quality.